Hey, what's up guys? It's Carl, again. And I'm back again today because uh, the video that I put out yesterday had some negative reactions to it that I just wanted to come back around and touch on because I think that there's a lot of misunderstanding here and a little bit of malice uh, or snarkiness that's being read into what I said that isn't necessarily the case. Now, I've only started doing videos for the channel recently, so I recognize that some of you, or probably the vast majority of you, aren't really familiar with me or my background with Airsoft, uh, but I have been playing for close to 15 years at this point now, and I've been working within the industry for about 10 or so. Uh, so all of the opinions that I'm expressing aren't, you know, just completely out of left field trying to stir things up. This is stuff that I've witnessed, uh, and I wanted to touch on it specifically because I feel sort of strongly about it, in, in just that it's they're recurring themes that I have seen over and over again. So rest assured that when I'm giving you hot takes like this, you don't have to agree with it. What we're doing is having a conversation, and that's kind of the point of social media, right? Isn't the internet wonderful? So I think a big part of the miscommunication that we're having here uh, comes from the use of the word sniper. Now, in Airsoft, a lot of times it seems like the word sniper and sniper rifle are used interchangeably, uh, which is not technically correct, and the way that I was specifically phrasing the video yesterday was that uh, a sniper is a person. A sniper is a person with a sniper rifle. A sniper rifle is a gun. Specifically, the way that I was talking about it yesterday, for our purposes, a sniper rifle is a bolt-action airsoft rifle. But Carl, what about knob bridge? Yes, obviously, there are very high-profile exceptions to uh, all of the stuff that I was talking about yesterday, but the reason, in my opinion, that folks like Knobrich, uh, Jet, Silo, and Swamp Sniper are able to go out and produce these really entertaining, cool videos is because they do excel specifically at the skills that I was talking about in that video. Fieldcraft, stealth, they know when to take shots and when to lie in wait, and it really helps their content. I'm not backpedaling and I'm not joking around when I'm saying that like literally there was no shade meant to be thrown at them, but it does feel like a lot of you uh, maybe watched the first 20 seconds of the video and then started smashing your keyboards. I get it. The disconnect, though, in my opinion, is that a lot of impressionable young airsofters watch those videos and then think that that's exactly what going out with a sniper rifle is going to be like when you actually get to the field. And I don't think that it's any controversy to say that the vast majority of the time, that's just not going to be the case because younger players or inexperienced players, regardless of their age, simply just don't have those skills that I was touching on. And again, I have been in the industry for quite a long time, and I can't tell you the number of times that I have seen kids come in, specifically because they think that airsoft sniping is going to be the bee's knees. Uh, they, they get a bolt action gun, and then a couple days, a week later, they come in and return it because it, it just wasn't what they were expecting. And altogether, worst case scenario, maybe that kid just decides to quit Airsoft because he had a really bad experience playing against AEGs or Polar Stars, you know, whatever else was on the field, he just felt outgunned and he just says, you know what, I don't want to do this. I think it's pretty obvious that without new players, scenes get stale and they wither and they eventually die. Um, and I think that it is sort of our responsibility as a community to make sure that that doesn't happen and always be welcoming to new players. And in my opinion, one of the ways that we do that is by being very realistic about probably the most glorified role that there is currently in Airsoft. Additionally, I was referring to larger fields or specifically milsem oriented games where that's basically going to be the areas that you get the most value out of uh, scouting and sneaking and all of the other skills that I was talking about in yesterday's video. I thought that that was obvious, uh, but I apologize if it wasn't. I thought that it was. A tool is only as good as the hands that wield it, right? So obviously, sniper rifles aren't useless, otherwise I wouldn't have taken the time to build and paint this gun up to show off to you guys yesterday. Um, but a ton of folks who go out and attempt to play that role with maybe some misconceptions about what it entails are not doing it to their full potential, and that was the whole point of yesterday's video. Yeah, I did draw you in with some controversy, but I, like I said, I think that you guys took that and just ran with it, when there was so much more going on in the second half of the video that I really hoped that you would watch. And you know what? 
like I said, all of this is my opinion, and I specifically invited dissent in the comments section because I knew that it was going to be a hot-button subject that everyone had an opinion on as well, and that they would want to express those things. And I did want to thank the vast majority of you that have been really cool and given some good criticism or just some good uh, valid counterpoints in the comment section, or just realizing how tongue-in-cheek this entire thing is. Like, guys, it's, it's airsoft. We all have fun with it, right? Like, stop taking it so seriously. Like, the best part about this, in my opinion, is that we are having a conversation, and honestly conversing with you guys on the various social media outlets is probably my favorite part of this job. So, I sincerely hope that that clears up a little bit of the confusion in what, in my opinion, was miscommunications about the video yesterday, because I really wasn't trying to put anyone down. My whole intent going into that was to lay out a controversial uh, topic and then try and build people up where I see that there is an opportunity for them to improve. That being said, if you do have thoughts or comments uh, that you do feel the need to continue to express, honestly, do it. Let's keep talking. This is a lot of fun. Uh, if you feel the need to keep hating on me, by all means, because I feed on your hatred. Nah, for real though, JK. Uh, have a great weekend, guys, and honestly, pick up a bolt-action rifle and go out and prove me wrong.